Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, Recovering Reporter. I firmly believe, as a former newspaper reporter, 25 years in the field, covering crime and emergency news, I firmly believe that if Donald Trump, if news had broke that Donald Trump had slapped a woman, had slapped her and spun her around, slapped her so hard, he spun her around, it would be the slap heard around the world. The media would not get enough of it. it, it they, would, they would be covering it. It would be wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Uh, they would be interrupting regularly scheduled programming. Um, you know, if he, if he had laid his hands on a woman. Or, or J.D. Vance, if J.D. Vance had done it. Uh, but here we have Kamala Harris's husband, Doug Emhoff, quote, forcefully slapping ex-girlfriend for flirting with another man, unquote, in booze-fueled assault after date to star-studded gala. This from the Daily Mail. It's from the Daily Mail. Let's go through this, and then we'll, then we'll talk about the media coverage or lack thereof. So... In short, uh, well, the headline tells you quite a bit, but uh, yeah, he allegedly struck the woman in the face so hard she spun around while waiting in a valet line late at night after a May 2012 Cannes Film Festival event in France. This is like, a, for those of you who don't know, I mean, it's a very, you know, upscale, upper crust, elite kind of thing that you, you know, that you would go to. You, you have to have a lot of money to go to this thing, but, but okay, what, whatever. Um, so she, this woman, uh, who they call Jane, she has three friends, three friends talking about it. So three sources. Um, one of her friends, uh, said the woman called him immediately after the incident, sobbing in her cab and describing the alleged assault. So this, you know, this report says this, this happened, this exchange happened immediately after it. And uh, a second friend said Jane, who had been dating M off for three months, also told her about the alleged violence at the time. And then a third friend um, said that Jane first told her in 2014 she had dated M off and recounted the full story of his alleged abuse in 2018 when then Senator Harris, who I guess was now married to M off, was in the news after grilling Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh in a Senate hearing over sexual assault allegations. The friends who all asked uh, not to be named for fear of retaliation by Emoff shared with DailyMail.com pictures of him and Jane. So, so we have three people talking about it, and then we have this photo, allegedly, of Emoff, a, clearly a younger-looking Emoff, with Jane. So I don't think that the mainstream media can argue that they don't have enough evidence. They would have gone with the... Trump slap or the J.D. Vance slap with far less. So let's take a look here. I did a little search. I put in Doug Emhoff slap story. We've got the Daily Mail, New York Post, Mint, New York Post again, Freebeacon.com, Washington Times, Hindustan Times, Radar Online. Where's ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN? New York Times, New York Post, USA Today. Where are any uh, MSNBC? Where are all of those? Those major, major networks, those huge uh, media outlets. Where are they? Where are they? Suspiciously, curiously absent from the first page. That's crazy. That is crazy. See, to me, that's... What else can you conclude but that's a deliberate attempt uh, to ignore this story? To, to uh, you know, in a premeditated manner, you're, you are dropping the ball on this. You're just like, you know what? Mm, nope, we're not going to cover it. We're not going to cover it. We're going we're gonna to protect these individuals. We're going to protect Doug Emhoff. We're going to protect Kamala, Kamala Harris. More importantly, we're gonna, because he's her husband, we're going to correct, protect... Kamala Harris, um, and if it flies in the face, it, it is, uh, the hypocrisy is bubbling over because, this is from Colin Rugg on X, uh, Emhoff was being celebrated 
as you know the man who is reshaping masculinity you know he's he's non-toxic he's the direct opposite he's the non-toxic messiah of masculinity uh but we also have we we know that and he did admit to this that he uh that he did impregnate his nanny uh his children's nanny but uh now we have new details that he allegedly caused his nanny to have a miscarriage after impregnating her whatever caused means allegedly caused that to happen so that other deep that also flies in the face of um uh, you know of him being this role model and this new man or whatever i mean so th the clearest example is jen pasaki fawning over him the interesting part of how people have talked about your role here is how your role has reshaped the perception of masculinity and i'm not sure you <laughs> planned on that but you are a incredibly supportive spouse has that been an evolution for you and do you think that's part of the role you might play uh as first gentleman it's funny i've, I've started to think a lot about this i've always been like this my dad was like this and uh, to me it's the important part an interesting part of how people yeah so uh, yeah he's always been like that apparently but you know Jen Saki, or is it Saki or Pasaki, fawning over the guy, just fawning over him. Um, you know, her, her socks are going up and down because because of this guy in this guy's presence, because he's reshaping masculinity. Uh, you know, uh, man, I, I mean, how, how can you not call this guy toxic? This guy, this guy is the definition of toxic masculinity. This is everything that women hate and uh, you know and and I, I don't like the phrase toxic masculinity I, I feel that there's there's masculinity and there's femininity and then there there's people there's bad people and there's good people but the, you can't have toxic masculinity masculinity is just is what it is femininity is is what it is and then you have good people and bad people um, you know good behavior and bad behavior but you can't have toxic masculinity masculinity the qualities of masculinity are the qualities that have existed forever for eons and you know they you know they they define what a man is or what a man should be anyway uh so yeah this this guy should be just dragged through the mud he you know oh my god he should be the villain and they should be labeling him even like i said even though i hate the term toxic masculinity you know he, if it were Donald Trump, he he would be labeled as a, and I mean, he already has, you know, as as being the Hitler. Well, he's already been named that too. Um, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying, as uh, the penultimate example of toxic toxic masculinity. He he impregnated his nanny, so he cheated on his first wife, allegedly caused her to to have a miscarriage, and then allegedly slapped around his ex girlfriend. You know what I mean? How much more toxic can you get than that? Wow. But, um, yeah, as terrible as that is, you know, then you look at the media's response. Crickets. Crickets. Why? What else can you conclude other than they're protecting the guy? And that's terrible. That is not journalism. That's not true journalism. Take it from me, 25 years in the field, that is not true journalism. True journalism means... Maybe maybe you support Kamala Harris. Maybe you like this guy, but you've got this evidence. You got to go forward with it anyway. You take the, you take your feelings and you set them aside, and you put on your professional hat, and you conduct yourself thus. That's a true journalist, but we're not seeing that here with this one. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you later.